Cowboys fans, I'm Lydia Cruz and welcome to the corner of Edgar and Dave, the official home of the 2023 All-Star Week. It's now my pleasure to invite Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred to the podium for today's announcement. Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here in Seattle, and even a greater pleasure uh, to make it official. Uh, Major League Baseball has awarded the 2023 All-Star Game to Seattle and the Seattle Mariners. I want to thank Commissioner Manfred for this great honor to host our third All-Star Game in 44 years here in Seattle. Together with Major League Baseball and community members, we are excited to make this a uniquely Seattle event, highlighting the amazing people, food and culture and baseball community that we all have here. We look forward to working together to make this All-Star in 2023 the best that it's ever been. What an exciting announcement for the city of Seattle. Mariners legend and two-time All-Star Harold Reynolds tells us what we can expect when baseball's jewel event returns to the Pacific Northwest. Over White Cap Mountains, next to the blue waters of the Puget Sound, sits Seattle and T-Mobile Park. A sparkling diamond in the Emerald City Ready once again to welcome baseball's jewel event back to the Northwest. Rocket homers in his final All-Star game. Base hit. A celebration of America's pastime, bringing the game to our community. And bringing our community to the world. Get ready for the moments and memories that will last a lifetime. A single bound in an RBI for Bruce Bakhti. A rare inside the park home run. The American League has won five consecutive All-Star games. 102 miles per hour. Watch the reaction of John Krupp. That hit the warehouse and they announce it new. In July 2023, History will be made, and Seattle will shine. As Major League Baseball's brightest stars come together, they're one unforgettable week. For more information and the latest news on the 2023 All-Star Week, make sure to visit mariners.com slash all-star. As we head to break, we take a look at a memorable Mariners All-Star moment. the Seattle Mariners, and more importantly for the fans. Still to come, we meet the next class of the Hometown Nine, relive a special night in Mariners history, and go behind the lens for this year's team photo. All on from the corner of Edgar and Dave. Welcome back to the corner of Edgar and Dave. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the 2001 Mariners and their 116 win season. A team that united this city and is responsible for one of the most iconic moments in franchise history. 
We talked about, you know, before the game, we talked about how we were going to celebrate whenever we clinched, whether it was that night, the next night, because we only needed one game. It needed to be uh, subdued, and we came up with the idea, okay, we're going to share this with the fans here in Seattle. The flag, that was not part of it that we knew of. We didn't know that, you know, a big flagpole was coming out with an American flag on it. I think the biggest thing for us was grabbing the flag and raising it up and kind of taking it around and allowing the people to just react in unison to uh, something special that had just taken place for the Seattle Mariners at that particular time. That was all spontaneous. It was just right on the spot. I didn't plan on having it. I don't think, it, it wasn't a thought that entered my mind that I would be the one in, that ended up with the flag walking around the field and you know the rest of the guys right behind me. That wasn't a thought, it just happened. But for me, that was probably my biggest moment, my, my proudest moment as an American. And Lou Pinella takes the flag and raises it higher, as high as he can get it, and takes his hat off. What a moment this is. My, oh my. And I think grabbing it that day, that was like my sole intention to still say that, you know, we're still here. We're gonna be all right. As we just saw, baseball has a unique way of bringing people together. And there's no better example of this than when the stars of today connect with the next generation of players. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Park, how are you, sir? Um, I'm good. You know what you're doing here today? Uh, answering questions. Answering questions. Some interviews for the hometown night? Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you get this. One thing for you, Jeremiah, batting practice is going to be going on while we're doing this. Kenzie's going to ask you questions. You're going to look at her. Okay, are we ready? All right. I'm going to ask you a few super easy questions. Nothing to be nervous about. So we got one of our newest members of the hometown night here. They're giving an interview, which they think is for the program, but it's actually a fake interview. And we're going to go out there and let them know that they've just been inducted into the Hometown Nine class. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, my name is Jeremiah Pongblitz. It's Josephine James Cunningham. Diego Connor Bell. Isabella Ruiz Garcia Flores. What positions do you play? Uh, mainly center field, first base. I do a little bit of pitching. The majority of the time on the field, I play pitcher. Come on. What's up, big man? Uh, how you doing? I'm Justin. I'm just coming to let you know you actually got accepted into the Hometown Nine. Hi. You are Hometown Nine material. Congratulations, sweetheart. Thank you. You're making me cry. <laughs> Most of my friends saw me as like the role model because I was bigger and taller. So I wanted to use my platform to like help people out. What's up, Jeremiah? How you doing? I'm Justin. I heard you're, what are you trying to get in this Hometown Nine program? Yeah. How about if I told you you're in? You are in. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Like I felt, like I heard someone walking behind me. I looked back. I saw them with their jersey on. I just looked back around. There was Ty France. <laughs> what we got going on here? <laughs> What's good with you, bro? Well, I know he's going to get a lot of the values and hard work, you know, work ethic, integrity. It's kind of hard to describe the, the feeling. She deserves it. She's such a great role model. So excited to see what she can do. I have the opportunity to tell somebody they're part of an awesome program. The Hometown Nine is just fantastic what we're able to do for young girls and boys continuing their career in baseball or softball. We got you a jersey, dog. There you go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely means a lot to be able to have a major league player greet them and welcome them. So that's something that, you know, I hope they can carry with them for the rest of their lives. My name is Clemente Cotto. My name is Carl Alexander Lindsay. My name is Jeremiah Palm Blanks. My name is Imani D'Angelo Brown. I am Kingston Edwards. And I made it to the Hometown Nine. And I am a part of the Hometown Nine. And I'm part of the Hometown Nine. And I'm part of the Hometown Nine. I'm part of the Hometown Nine. To learn more about this class and the Hometown Nine program, make sure to visit mariners.com slash hometown nine. Still to come, we meet a longtime season ticket member and hear about his family's love of Mariners baseball. And we go behind the scenes at this year's team photo shoot. It's all on from the corner of Edgar and Dave. Welcome back to the ballpark. 
Now there's no doubt that it is the players that provide the action on the field, but it's the fans that can really amplify the energy at the ballpark. We spent a game hanging out with a longtime season ticket member and his family as they enjoyed an evening of Mariners baseball. I'm Brian Shirell, a season ticket member since 2002. When you walk into the ballpark, the first thing that you hear is just the, the rumbling and the low chatter of people, right? Then you start to get the smells and then you see the, the grass and that's when it's real. That's when you put your cares about work away. That's where you put your concerns about traffic away. Love uh, the smell of the grass and watching the grounds crew um, groom it so immaculately. It, it just, brings a level of calm and happy and smile. I mean, I can feel myself smiling when I walk in. It's kind of like you've, you've joined the family as you walked in. We've been in the same seats since I got tickets in 2002. This is, this is something we do as a family. There's always something new to talk about. We always find something new to share about or something happens on the field and you share experiences from it. Some of my favorite memories are playing like on-field games before the game. So one time me and my dad did pop fly with a catch and playing catch in the outfield when I was little was really nice. Took advantage of a season ticket holder memory where you could watch batting practice and I still have that picture. So to be able to look back at that and, and, and see it and think about those times, it means a lot. The kids were born into being the Mariner family. My wife will attest, I usually disappear at some time through the game and I'm walking in the shop and seeing what hats and other things that they have around. He's in the shop buying hats, buying blankets, buying something. We pretty much have baseball hats pretty much all over the house. The people that we really have gotten attached to, the ushers, that are here, we see them all the time, we can talk to them and see how they're doing. They know us by name, they say how the kids are, so it, it, is, it is truly like a family. When a whole city's behind you, or when a whole stadium is on their feet waiting for something to happen, I think it's a, it's a great experience. This town really is a baseball town. It's, it's the local team that I love. What a fun night for Brian and his family. I'm sure it included some great highlights like these. Come on by, the windup and the 0-2 on the way, but a strike three called. Going in a soft pop up, foul ground, France racing over, angling back, and he makes the basket catch. Valera tags, here's a throw home in time, tag applied. Hanniger, wow, he made the catch. Beautifully done by Mitch Hanniger. As you say, ball rolls to the third baseline, slides, gets to it. From a knee, throws the first, and it's in time. Coming in, sliding, making the catch by Bowers. Here's the windup in the 3 2 swing and a miss, strike three for Logan Gilbert. France on the warning track, and France makes the catch right by the camera. Now first pitch swinging low, loops this one to center, long run, Kelnick, and he lunges out to make the catch. Swing and a miss. Seventh strikeout for Marco Gonzalez. Long run and a sliding grab by Hanniger. Deep to center field. Back is Fraley at the wall and he makes the catch. And that is how this one ends. When we come back, it's team photo time as Mariners photographer Ben Van Houten captures the perfect photo. That's next on From the Corner of Edgar and Dave. season has certainly been a special one and that's a credit to the players and coaches who don the team's uniform and they look pretty sharp in those home whites.
hey guys, let's do a test shot. All right guys, great. All right, that looks good. Okay, how are we looking up in the upper press box? Do we have anybody that is camping out? No, nope, looks pretty empty. The fact that we're an hour earlier, that might be good. See, and Manny, look at that. Manny's, Manny's Manny. First one always. My clockwork, Manny, I love it. Every year, always. Hey guys. Assigned seats. Yeah, so basically, yeah, you'll be like right in between. Yep. Excellent. Okay, Cal, Cal, you're gonna, we're gonna, Cal, you're gonna be right here. Cal, you're gonna be like right here. Yep, slide down, guys. Slide down. You're gonna be right here, Tom. Tom, slide. Hey, guys, slide on down, please. If you're standing, just comfortable, just whatever's comfortable. Good. Excellent. All right, let's do this. Excellent. All right, everybody, we're good to go right here. Great smiles. Nice. Ready? Looking right here. Excellent. Again. It's great. Looks awesome. Right here, guys. Final shot. Best shot. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent. Thank you, guys. What a great photo and what a special team. A group of players that have provided plenty of exciting moments to be captured this season. Hi, my name is Ben Van Houten and I am the Seattle Mariners team photographer. I've been doing this since 1992 and I'm currently in my 30th season. I am out of my element. I do not like being in front of the lens. <laughs> what do I do is basically anything and everything that has to do with photography. It could be the game action, uh, stadium shots, uh, events, all kinds of aspects of photography. I love what I do. I mean, I've been doing this for so long and it's it's still fun. It, I love it. It's, um, you know, yes, it's the same game for all these years, but you get different personalities, uh, different excitement. Uh, everything is a challenge uh, when it comes to it. So it's always different, even though it's still the same. Well, this year we're having a blast, or I'm, I'm having a great time just with all the personalities that we have on the team and the emotion that we're showing. Getting that really fun shot that shows just how much fun it is to come to the park and watch these guys. Being ready for that moment, because uh, a lot of times it's so fast you'll miss it. You know, like when Marco or the pitchers are on the mound and they give a really good yell or a scream. I love what I do. This is a blast. I've been doing it for a long time. And just to be able to create images uh, for the club, it's a lot of fun. Now let's see some of those photos in motion. Let's take a look at a few of those offensive highlights. Hey, just like that! Tack Ranch number on the board. Keldon goes the other way! J.K. with a home run! Swing, socked, demolished. It's a colossal home run from Luis Torrens. 27, 28, 29. Mitch Hanniger brings us right back where we started. It's left field. Mariners take the lead. Jake Bowers puts the Mariners in front five to three. Did he get enough? Let it ride! Let it ride! Bye bye Kyle Sager! Home run number 31, a career best! It's a milestone day for one of the all-time great Mariners. Two steals for Dylan tonight. He now has 20 on the year. That's amazing. It is gone! one nothing Mariners! J.P. Crawford! Here's the stretch, and again the 2-2 to Toro, swung on and belted, deep to right center field. This one going back, going back, grab ball, get up the right, bread and mustard. It is grand salami time. Abraham Toro with a grand slam. Well, that wraps up today's show. Thank you for your support of Mariners baseball all throughout the season. We can't wait to see you back at the ballpark. 
for you will always be welcome at the corner of Edgar and Dave. For more great stories from the corner of Edgar and Dave, make sure to follow us online today. Visit mariners.com slash blog.